I'm in Cannes, in the south of France, with my wife. But we're heading home today. My wife is up in the hotel room now, packing our belongings. We were very, very lucky with the weather. Today the weather's changing and it's bad for the rest of the week. The first time I ever came to Cannes, when my wife seen all the shops, all the designer shops, she said, Vincent, I'm home. She loves it out here, but it is frightfully expensive. I personally, I hate the hustle and bustle of the cities and I hate shopping. The only shop I like is a fish and tackle shop. But I'm a very lucky man because my wife works in fashion and she buys all my clothes for me. I don't even have to try them on. She just brings them home and hands them to me. So I am a very lucky man. The weather is getting more and more miserable. It's very heavy drizzle. It's actually starting to rain very heavily. And if it gets any heavier, I'll be swimming with the fish. The ground has gone very, very slippy. I have to take my crocs off, health and safety reasons. I'm like a man with OCD, dodging the white lines, because the white lines are like glass. I seen a rich man getting off his yacht, and he threw a 50 year note in the beggar man's hat, and the beggar man got mad and said, that's no good to me, I can't buy anything with that. Now I'm home. I thought I was in two huge fish. Here he's handy fella. He blew the breakfast. I got him on a small little rapala. And doing a small bit of trolling. It's kind of very blustery. I just can't stop thinking I can. No, I'm not thinking of my wife on the beach. <laughs> That's one big pint. Big beer. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> I forgot my bottle of orange juice. And I'm gasping. I'm sure I recognize him. I'm sure I caught him last year. I definitely recognise this fella. I definitely caught this fella before. Come back to me next year, little fella. Ah, uh, yeah. Brunch out for dinner tonight. I'll be eating like a king. It's pelting out of the heavens. And I'm going to make myself a bit of grub. I'm going to fry a couple of trout. Some mixed herbs, a tiny little, tiny little amount. That's loads. You don't want to lose the flavour of your trout. And a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pepper into the oil. And that'll go into the fish. Lovely jubbly. And a little bit of lemon juice. You have to have the other lemon juice. Oh yeah. You should smell inside my tent. It's unbelievable the smell. It's unbelievable. A tomato. 
and put on our plate. Uh, it's just, this is going well. You have to have the glass of white wine with your fish. It's a little freezer bag and it keeps my wine chilled. Only one problem is plastic cup. It's not exactly can, but it'll have to do. The rain stopped again, so we'll open up and add a bit of fresh air in. And we'll have the glass of white wine. A nice slice of brown bread. Even two slices. A little bit of butter. I know I like roughing it up in the mountains, but there's a little bit of can in me as well. Cheers. It's just one thing missing to make it perfect. God, that's incredible, incredible. Look at that for a sunset. That's why I keep coming down to Kerry. Because it's just an unbelievable, beautiful place. I had a great weekend fishing down in Kerry. I'm on my way home and I hope you enjoyed my video. And that's one thing Can doesn't have, scenery like that. I'm only just in the door after driving up from Waterville and I have a fine feed my wife made for me.